Welcome to a video tutorial on the slope intercept form for the equation of a line. This tutorial can be found at mathwarehouse.com slash line and there's a lot of other goodies there involving the equations of lines. Well, the goal of this tutorial is to look at and to be able to do tube types of problems. To be able to one produce the slope intercept form equation from a graph which to give you an example of that would be this here's we're gonna look at these problems here given these graphs graphs I'm gonna lead you through how you could come up with a slope intercept form equation Two, given the equation produce the graph so we want to be able to go both ways um, so the second part will be looking at these equations and trying to come up with the graph itself all right second part is a little harder so we'll save that for the second part all right you should be familiar with slope before you try this equation, so this tutorial. So if slope is a completely foreign concept to you, check out our tutorial on slope. All right, so the slope intercept form is one of many ways to express the equation of a line. And in general, this way of writing the equation of a line is written as y equals mx plus b. b is the y-intercept. In other words, it is where the equation crosses the y-axis, the y-intercept. m is the slope. So whenever we approach these sort of problems, all that we have to do is figure out the value for this of the slope and to figure out the y-axis, sorry, the y-intercept. If we can do that, we've got our equation. Now let's look at some specific examples. Remember, first thing that we're going to try to do is get the equation if I give you the graph. So we're going to look at this graph and try to write its equation in slope intercept. Okay, so let's see if you remember. Do you remember what M and B stand for? M is the slope. And B, as you can see, is kind of labeled on the picture there. B is the y-intercept. Okay, so let's look at this first one here. We'll call it equation, which we'll call it graph 1. So let's see, B, it's very easy to find B. The way you can think of B is where does the line begin on the y-axis. And as you can see, it begins at 1. So all that we now need to figure out is what is the slope. The easiest way to find the slope of a line is you just look at two places where it crosses at a nice place. Like here, you see how it directly lands on a point here? This is not a good one because it's kind of somewhere in the middle of 2 and 3. All right, so slope is simply the rise over the run, right? Or one up, two over, one half. Remember, if a line goes in this direction, the slope is positive. And a quick review, like the green line will definitely have a negative slope because it goes in a downwards direction. So M is one half, B is two. And now all we have to do is plug it into our general form of the equation, Y equals MX plus B. So this equation, this graph's equation, is y equals 1 half x plus 1. Okay, let's try the second one. We need to find m, and we need to find b. Remember, b is where does it begin on the axis? Right here. What's the value for b? Negative 1. Don't forget, we're negative down here. What about the slope? Again, try to find two places where it nicely crosses. Right here, and here's a good one. So you go down, the rise is negative 2, and the run is 1. So it's negative 2 over 1, and that's what we would expect since the green line goes downwards. General form of the equation of slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So all we have to do is substitute our values in. And the answer is y equals negative 2 over 1, negative 2 over 1x minus 
minus 1. Or you could rewrite it as y equals negative 2x minus 1. These are the same, right? Negative 2 over 1 is negative 2. Now I drew in this red line here to, for us to try to look at a special case. Looks a little different, right? It's a horizontal line. Let's see what the equation of a horizontal line looks like. Okay, so remember we need our m and our b. Where does it, what's our b? It's 2. What is our rise over our run? We can pick any two points here. So how much do we rise up? 0, right? 0 on the top, and we have a run of 2. So our slope is 0 over 2 or 0, right? Anything over 0 over any number is 0. So our equation is y equals 0x plus 2, and 0x is really just 0. So if you have a horizontal line, you end up look with something that looks like this, y equals 2. If the line was down here, it would be y equals negative 2. Okay, now let's look at a different type of problem. Let's go from the equation to the graph. Alright, I, what I recommend is start with the y-intercept. Right? So let's start with negative 1. Here's our negative 1. And our slope is 2 thirds. So remember, the number on the top is how far you go up or down. It's positive, so we go up 2. And this is the run. So we run 1, 2, 3. Now to draw this, the line that we want is simply a line that goes through these two points. So it looks something like this. straight line. So that's it. Quick recap and we'll do two more. Start with the y-intercept, put a point there, then use the slope to catch your second point, connect them, and then you can just draw these, these little arrowheads and mean, hey, the line keeps going forever in those two directions, and you're good. Okay, equation 2, y equals negative 1 third x plus 2. First, start with the y-intercept, so go up to 2, then use the slope. Now it's a negative one third. That means that we have a a rise that goes down by one, and we run one, two, three. Here's our second point. All that we have to do is connect these points and draw the arrow saying it goes forever in that direction. And now one with two negative with a negative um, y-intercept and a positive slope. Start at negative 3, right? Our y intercept, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and rise 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's our rise, and our run is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And all you have to do now is connect these lines as best you can and draw the arrowheads. Right, so that's it for the slope intercept form of a line. I'd like to conclude by showing you a really cool free tool that produces the graph from any. And this cool free tool is Meta Calculator. You just go to www.meta-calculator.com, click on the graphing calculator, and if you want to know what a line looks like, you can just graph it. You can just type it in here y equals 3 halves x plus 5. Graph and there's your line. And you can move around the screen, see it. You can even get a table of values. Hey, I want to know all I want to know the x and y values for this equation. Um, and you can just say I want x to start at 2 and it'll say at x is 2, y is this. At x is 3, y is this value. So again, this is a really cool free tool metacalculator.com that will you just click on the graphing calculator and you can graph up to seven equations you can even find the intersections of them and do the table of values alright that's it for the slope intercept form of a line if you want more tutorials on working with lines go to mathwarehouse.com slash line and you'll find lots of other goodies including a free applet and other video tutorials thank you